very important, the Freestyle Live event pack. Now, I know some of you were lucky enough to pick this bad boy up. A lot of you are not as lucky, and we're, we're apologizing for that, but we are going to be giving away swag and prizes to everyone. So if you do have your Freestyle Live event pack, be sure to check your badge. Uh, the back of your badge has a number on it. We're going to be doing a raffle. If we call your number, you're going to go and email freestylelive at drewstate.com. That's very important. That's how we're going to get a hold of you and get your prize fulfilled. Now, if you did not get a pack, we're still going to be giving away swag. We're going to be unveiling our newest swag, just like we always do. So don't worry. So for the rest of the night, we're going to be showing off some amazing swag, our, our incredible announcements. We're just going to be celebrating with you guys. So to kick things off, I have my amazing compatriots with me, the brand ambassadors, the founder of our company. I'm going to start with you, Mr. Jonathan Drew. How are you this evening, JD? Oh, I'm doing great, Jack. I'm super, super amped to be here tonight and uh, just feeling super blessed, brother. Uh, JD, I could not be more thankful to be here. It's good to see you guys all again. And, uh, man, I'm so excited for this production, what we guys got for you. So now the cozy boys in the corner looking super amazing. Mr. Pedro Gomez, Mr. Willie Herrera, how are you guys this evening? Man, we are doing great, brother. Tonight is the night, and I hope that everybody that is tuning with us, I hope that you guys are ready because what we got going on tonight is going to be top, top. So how are you doing tonight, Willie? Doing great, man. It's a great night. Uh, first time in over a year that we're all together again. Uh, great celebration, a lot of great announcements, a lot of surprises, and just a lot of fun, man. Just good to be back. Man. Excellent. Now, behind the bar, and I'll get to the raffle prizes in a second. I forgot to touch on that. But behind the bar is Mr. Frankie Dranks. Frank, we finally found a bar that is worthy of your magnitude. Absolutely. Where else would you find me other than behind the bar? So, uh, listen, I'm super excited. Freestyle Live, we got the band back together, guys. We launched this over a year ago, and, uh, and here we are. Finally, we got the dream come true. The dream team is here live just for you, and what an amazing night this is. And, Jack, do you want to talk about the prizes tonight? Yes. Um, first of all, if you are lucky enough to win... The third place prize, we have a prize for our trade partners. We have prizes for our consumer. Uh, so the standing humidor, it's a tower humidor. That's going to be the third place prize for both. Uh, the giant bar that Frank is standing behind, that's going to be the second place prize. The f grand prize is going to be a Suzuki dirt bike. It's an homage to our workers at the factory. And if you're on our trade side, you're going to take home three of the chairs that uh, Pedro and Willie are sitting on right now. You're going to get a standing ashtray, and you're going to get a credit so you can get your lounge all decked out. Now, there is one very important, very dignified, handsome man that I forgot to check in with, and that's Mr. Juan Martinez in Nicaragua. Juan, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing great, brother. Good to see you, Jack. Good to see everybody. I'm sad I'm not being able to join, join you there in Miami, but I'm coming all the way to you from, uh, from Nicaragua. Super excited to be joining you and super excited to be celebrating so many great things, Drew Estate and Hoya, Nicaragua. So much love, family and friends. Juan, we didn't even talk about this, but that you set me up perfectly for my next uh, my next portion, which is this is a night not only of new releases, it's a night of celebration. Um, we're celebrating here at Drew Estate, us being able to be together, to hang out again, and it's kind of a new chapter for us at Drew Estate moving forward. Uh, we are also celebrating as a company our 25th anniversary. So those of you who may not have your calendar out, 1996 we were founded by Mr. Jonathan Drew, and 2021, or 2021, 2021, whatever, uh, we're going to be celebrating our 25th anniversary. So JD, why don't you tell people about what DE25, what the 25th anniversary of Drew Estate looks like, and how are we going to be celebrating with our closest friends and family? Yeah, it's hard to, to believe, but it's been 25 years, Jack, and, you know, uh, it's time for us to get together, have the biggest bash not only we have ever had. You know, we do big bashes at, at Barn Smokers, of course, you know, different festivals, but this is going to be the biggest bash that, we, that we've ever put on. We're, we're really so excited about this, and what I want you guys to do right now is is I know you, everybody's excited for their freestyle live event packs. You got your accoutrements, you got your cutters and lighters. I want you to pull out a very different accoutrement, a uh, number two pencil, and write this date down, September 25th. Write down another date. That's going to be the date that we are going to have the Drew Estate DE25 crazy event, the whole package. You're going to learn more about it. Another date to write down is tomorrow, the 7th. Here's how it's going to work. So for Drew Diplomats, 
You guys know who you are for Drew Diplomats and for all of our retailers worldwide. You're going to be able to buy tickets for the first week from May 7th to May 14th. You guys and gals are the first access. We want to make sure that we have seats for you guys because this is going to sell out quickly. This is going to move, right, Jack? Yes, sir. So for you guys, you're going to go to Eventbrite. You're going to log in, and you're going to have the option to buy tickets, onesies, twosies, threesies, but you also can get a table. That's the one. So for retailers, lock in. There's some special stuff for you there. Get your table squared away. For everybody else, Drew Diplomats, you too, you can get a table, you can get a single, a double, triple, whatever you want. And then on the 14th of May, that's when the general public and population could come in and buy tickets for the DE25 celebration. A couple of other things that I think are really important is like, all right, well, what's this celebration really, really about? So, you know, you guys know how the industry typically works. We go to our trade shows, we bring out our products, we bring out our new stuff. From there, the retailers have it in, and the consumers go and look for it. This is a little bit different. This is definitely kind of Drew Estate disruption moment right here. So what we're looking this is like our Apple Day. You guys know, many of you guys have been, you know, with JD for 15, 20 years, 25 years, and you guys know I'm an Apple fanatic. And... I've always thought about this Apple Day experience where our consumers are to be there with us when we bring out our new products for the year. So September 25th is not just about partying, celebrating. Just imagine what we're going to do, right? Because you know how we roll. You come to a Drew Estate party, you know what's going on. The best cigars, the most of everything. We're over the top. We always like that. Now just think on the 25th, you're going to be the first to smell, touch, hear, feel, see all the new products that we're coming out with, and there's something really beyond dope, I ain't even going to get into it, that you guys are going to be there for the first with us and have that consumer first giant showdown where everybody's going to be with us as we do the unveiling. So that's what really makes it different, Jack. It's never really been done before in the cigar industry, and I think it's going to be something where you're going to be with us to, to have that release moment, party with us, and I I really got to tell you guys, I love you guys. It's been so many years of you guys coming to the factory, thousands of people on Cigar Safari, thousands of people coming to our subculture studios, coming to Cigar Safari, La Gran Fabrica, Nicaragua. We want you to come and be here with us and celebrate this moment together. So I feel very emotional and passionate about this event. So I really look forward to seeing everybody there with us. Now, that's not all, J.D. You gave us the date. You gave us the time. You gave us where to go to get that information. But Pedro and Willie, I think you guys want to talk about something else that we might be debuting at DE25. Pedro, take it away. Absolutely, bro. You know, when it comes to a year like this, 2021, this is not the year only for Drew Estate. This is a year that we would like to celebrate with all of you guys. Everybody up there, all our cigar lovers, all our partners, retailers up there, everybody that has been believing in Drew Estate for the last 25 years, this is the event that you don't want to miss. Because in terms of all the beautiful time that we have all missed since last year, being together, coming to celebrate, the event is not going to be an event if we don't have a really amazing swag. And the swag that I'm talking about, it's a really nice, beautiful Drew Estate DE25 cutter and lighter. You also have that beautiful travel humidor and all that beautiful swag that you, got, that you are picturing yourself right now, right here with us. So don't miss that event. My man Willie is going to tell you everything about the smokes that you're going to get in that particular event. Well, I'm going to tell them about the smokes. I'm not going to tell them all about the smokes. I'm not going to. I'm not going to give it all away. What I am going to give away is there's going to be ten smokes in there. Some they might have seen once. Some they might have smoked once. Some they might have never seen. Some they might still be looking for, trying to get their hands on one. I mean, you don't want to miss this out because you know the sticks that are there are are just unbelievable sticks. And like I said, it's some of the most sought-after sticks, and you just you don't want to miss it. Another unforgettable moment that we have coming up for you guys. Now, one thing that I neglected to mention is we're going to be giving away swag tonight, our newest event swag, as we always do. And it might or may or may not be tied to this little baby. Um, and in order to have your uh, swag given out, you need to ask a question to one of our brand ambassadors using the hashtag 
Maybe hashtag ask JD, hashtag ask Frankie Drinks, hashtag ask Pedro, hashtag ask Willie, something like that. Um, and we will pick some of your questions and you'll get some of the swag. Now, I think it's time, Mr. Pedro Gomez, if you're ready, I think I'm ready to talk about what in the heck these people have been smoking. Now, let's, let's light up the chat for a second with some of the guesses you guys have. Some people have said, is this a Liga Pravada? Some people have said, oh, is this, a, is this a new brand? Some people have, uh, we have questions and comments all over the board. Now, Pedro, what do you think? Is it time to tell these people what, what they've been smoking on? Well, let me tell you something, man. When the cigar is so <laughs> damn good, <laughs> like the one I'm smoking right now, a mystery cigar. Well, the time is up. I will tell you one thing, everybody right now, everybody's going to get, to, because Drew stays getting right now, we are getting all deck out, so the production team roll the video out. Right, everybody. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video that we have created for you guys. But right now, I would like to ask a permission to the cameraman because I would like to give a quick shout out to my people in Nicaragua, a quick shout out to my people in, in the factory. So I'm gonna say this in Spanish. So a todas las personas allá en la fábrica en Drew State, le agradecemos de todo corazón por el gran trabajo que han venido haciendo. Y porque somos siempre una familia, la familia aquí en los Estados Unidos, como la familia de Nicaragua, ustedes son el pilar fundamental de la compañía Drew Estate. Y este puro que vamos a, en, precisamente en este momento, vamos a tirar al mercado, es una obra maestra que viene de todos los eh, roleros y boncheros de la fábrica Drew Estate. So, everybody, thank you so very much for being with us. Right now, I'm gonna tell you one thing. When it comes to this particular brand, I do remember when it comes to the Undercrown, wow, 2011. Who wouldn't imagine that that cigar wouldn't be in the market for the last 10 years? Undercrown Maduro, which was the Undercrown Maduro, a nice medium body cigar. Then in 2016, we launched another Undercrown. This one was the Undercrown Shade, and that one being a mild to medium, a lot of people embraced the brand. The following year, in 2017, we launched the Undercrown Sungrown. Very nice medium plus cigar that has a Ecuadorian Sumantra Sea Sungrown in Ecuador, and that have been a cigar that a lot of people have enjoyed, especially the guys that smoke traditional cigars 
that are made by Drew Stay, and obviously, you know, cigars that are made in Nicaragua. But one thing for sure that I can tell you is this. When it comes to the underground, has become the go-to cigar because of the tobacco that goes in that particular brand. But right now, I will tell you one thing. When it comes to 2021, the year has come, and it is time for us, as the company of Drew Stay, to celebrate the 10 years that the underground has been in the game. And we are going all deck out with the one and only Undercrown 10. The cigar has everything that you have wished for. But I would like to bring my man, Willy Herrera, the master blender of Drew Stay, and he's going to tell you everything about the cigar and everything about the blend. So, Willy, take this to the next level. Hey, man, Undercrown 10, you know, once again, I went back to the team. The, the, the team that created the Undercrown and put them to the test one more time. And I said, we got to take it to the next level. This is the 10-year the, the anniversary of a brand. We got we to gotta just put our, put, our, put our heads together, get our hands dirty, and let's, let's think outside the box. Let's, let's work with tobaccos that maybe you haven't worked too much with in a blend, and let's put stuff together. Let's, let's see what we come up with. And then... Like always, the team never lets us down, and we came up with the Undercrown 10, a beautiful expression of the brand. Um, we chose a higher priming Mexican San Andres wrapper, a beautiful broadleaf binder, and very rich, strong Nicaraguan fillers, where when you, when you blend all these tobaccos together, you get what is known to us here in the factory, um, in, the, in, in, in the office. All of us that, ha that have tried this cigar, you get this, this taste of Mexican hot chocolate. You get this richness, you get the, the, the sweetness, you get the spiciness, you get all these flavors coming in together, marrying each other. That's the Underground 10. It's the next level. It's, you know, it's a celebration. 10 year anniversary how many how many brands survive for 10 years and this brand just continues to grow and so you have it on the crown 10 now just some just some boring information about Undercrown 10 not boring but the uh, stats and specs if you didn't get to see the video uh, there's gonna be four sizes Corona Doble Corona Viva Robusto Toro all 20 count boxes all coming regular release to you very soon and we're gonna have some of these at events um, now Pedro I want you to take it to the next uh, if you thought it wasn't even exciting enough what are you holding in your hands right now and tell people about the factory floor edition oh yeah <laughs> if you thought that the party is over let me tell you you are a hundred percent grown because the Undercrown 10 is a decade of dedication. And what I have right now is a special limited edition box that is called the Factory Edition Undercrown 10. This is what I call Sherry on top of the Undercrown 10. This amazing cigar has. This amazing cigar has everything that you have wished for because, as you guys can see in the camera, it brings a tobacco leaf library. And one thing about those tobaccos that you saw in the box, everybody has been coming to Cigar Safari. And one thing that I truly remember when I was running the Cigar Safari tours was when I saw those people walking to the tobacco warehouse and my man, Chema, who is the person that runs the fermentation area, who is the person that runs the inventory of tobacco that we have in Drew Estate 2, he had available for me and JD, when we were running the tours, a table full of tobaccos that we use as a fillers, as our grappers, and as a binder. And one of the ultimate moments from everybody that came to Cigar Safari, it was when JD and myself were telling to everybody, up there in Cigar Safari about those tobaccos, where those tobaccos were coming from, the farm, the tobacco region, the country, the tobacco sea and everything. And they, these people were, they were having the opportunity to smell the tobacco, to get the texture of the tobacco, to get the color of the tobacco. And one thing about that factory floor edition, Undercrown 10, is that it brings you 
all those lucky cigar collectors up there, mm -hmm. because this is a limited edition box, are going to be so close to what La Gran Fabrica Drew Stay is all about. So I'm going to bring my man, Willie Herrera, who's going to tell you about the particular side that is not available in the underground tent. So Willie, what size do you guys choose at La Gran Fabrica Drew Stay? Well, like, like uh, most of you know out there, I'm, I'm a big fan of small ring gauge. And like I always talk about, you know, every blend has a size that hits every individual the way they want that, that cigar to hit them. How, how, they, how they feel that blend shines. You know, some people are as a Robusto, some people it's a Toro, some people it's a, a Pyramid or a Bellicoso. For me, that Lonsdale, that Lonsdale size in that blend, it, it just did it for me. So I got a little selfish and I threw a little bit of the, the willy in there. Uh, and we, we went with that Lonsdale for that special size. Now, people will be able to see that. We'll throw it on the uh, product cam so you can see it up close and personal. Um, but this, this factory floor edition, this is going to be a limited release. So with the, the tobacco leaf library on the side, you're not going to be able to get this year-round. This is going to be a little bit harder to find, but it's going to be really special. Now, Willie, I wanted to ask you about, or maybe J.D., you'd be a better person to ask about this. Now, are we giving people the, the ingredients but not the recipe? Is this like, you know, in your grandma's kitchen, you see what she's got out on the, the countertop, and you think, yeah, I could probably make grandma's meatballs. Do you think Willie should be a little worried with us giving away kind of the, uh, the secret sauce with some of the, the tobacco leaf library on the side? Yeah, I think Willie should be very worried because you're going to have a whole bunch of Frankensteins out there, Willie. No, 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 no. We, we, we got the ingredients, but we don't got the recipe. Oh. If you don't have the recipe. Yeah, it was like we were talking about earlier in the Swiss Alps, the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> But, no, I think it's so cool, Jack, to be able to, to experience almost the way Pedro described it, you know, the, the Cigar Safari feel with the Factory Floor Edition of Underground 10. Everybody's going to really get a chance to experience that tobacco in the box with the tobacco library. So I think it's one of the absolute coolest things we've ever done. And I want to give a huge shot out to my man, An Fon, who is our senior brand manager and moving up. I want to just give a huge shout out to you, brother, because that was his idea. And you know me, I'm an idea guy. And when something just blows my mind and freaks me out like that, that, that product, you guys want to try this for the blend as well. Yeah. But the whole experience of that package is really truly classic Drew Estate style. Well, it's, it's really cool for you to have those ingredients in there. So people could picture, you know, they smell the individual tobaccos. And in their mind, they could say, oh, man, wow, it's not just putting leaves together and coming up with a blend. There, there's, there's, an, you know, there's a recipe. There's how much of this, how much of that. But they could smell the individual tobaccos. Oh, man, I, I get the sweetness. Oh, man, I get the earthiness. Oh, man, it, it smells spicy. Like, it, it tickles my nose. And then you blend it together. And then you put that, that, that recipe together, and you have the stick. So I think it's great. Yeah, you know, that also, like, a night like this, Jack, a night like Freestyle Live, you know, for people to kind of get a little bit of a feel between the Pedro, Willie, JD, Frank, the people at the factory, the Undercrown uh, uh, team who blended the product and continue to blend it with you, Will, you know, uh, the, I feel like the Factory Floor Edition brings you kind of into that behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And a night like tonight, you're kind of tethering it together and talking through it and just enjoying it so much. To be able to, to have a product like this, this is a game changer. The cigar industry has never seen something like it. And what's beautiful and the most important thing, you can make all the fancy looking shit you want to. If that blend isn't Mexican hot chocolate, then you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just, got a, uh, I just got a sneak delivery. I don't know if you guys, you guys uh, saw that, but that was a very crafty bit of production. Where I just got a little, maybe I got a little uh, Mexican hot chocolate. So uh, cheers to you guys watching. Now, Pedro, another very, very exciting thing is happening as you get your drink. This is amazing. If you guys could see behind the scenes, I got, I got drink <laughs> runners sneaking out of all, all crevices. Uh, Pedro, a very exciting thing that I think that you got in your hands right now is you finally have something to show off. Very special for your events. So tell the people what you got coming up at your events. Absolutely. Before I say anything... I'm very sure that everybody that is tuning with us right now, which I would like to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. So I would like to make a share for everybody up there in Nicaragua, everybody in the factory. So everybody just everybody grab your glass right there and drink it up. 
because right now, right here, everything is about the underground. But one thing that I can tell you, Jack, is this. In, in 2018, I have the biggest honor to be the ambassador of the underground. And one thing that it was very close to my heart, it, it was going to all over the United States. I was born in Esteli, Nicaragua. I never imagined that I would have the opportunity to travel all over the United States, from east to west, from north to south, and everywhere in the Midwest. But I do remember that I have this honor from the marketing department to have the Underground Manifesto as the uh, My Cigar event. So 2021, I got hit by the marketing department and the factory over there in Esteli, and they gave me the opportunity, I will say the honor to carry with me my event only cigar, which is this one right here. Oh, so what I got right here for everybody that is looking up, so I got the Underground 20. Underground 20 is a cigar that everybody will die to get. So, but I don't know, if, I, I don't, bro, Joe, 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 Jack, Jack, do you know what 20 is all about? No, I, I hope you'll tell me, Pedro. Bro, 20, everybody that is tuning with us in Nicaragua is this. 20 is a slam that is well known in Nicaragua. I bet you one thing. People in Honduras, they don't know what 20 is. People in Dominican Republic, they don't know what 20 is. And forget about the people in Cuba. But if you say 20 in Nicaragua, wait, they wait. will know what you're talking about because 20 represents greatness. <laughs> and how can you use that word if you are somebody from here in the United States, but not just somebody in the United States, somebody in other country. So as I said to you, 20 represents greatness. And how can you use the word 20? You can put it the word like this. If somebody asks you how you feeling today, you're going to say, I'm feeling 20 tonight. <laughs> you can use how is that? Then you can say the packaging of the Undercrown is Super 20. Oh, the factory floor edition is extremely 20. So everybody that has been coming to my event from the moment that I start to travel all over the United States, which it was in, back in 2013. Wow, time has flown. And to me, every time that I got the opportunity to travel and meet our partners, our retailers, and everybody that travels miles to come to our event and support our event and, and, and buy our cigars, I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I would like to thank you for your business. And this is one of the reasons why you don't have to miss my events, because 2021, we are going out to the streets and we are bringing you all the big guns because when it comes to the underground pen, this is the cigar that you must have. And not just have in your humidor, this is the cigar that you should smoke. And this one right here brings two cigars, one for you and one for your wife or your cigar buddy. There is always a cigar to share and that's what the underground 20 is all about. My man Jack, take it to the next level. Actually, it's JD. <laughs> I just wanted to make one comment about this. First of all, I love you, bro. <laughs> and what really, and I mentioned this to you guys the other day, is that what makes me so excited about the Underground 20 is the collaboration between Pedro and Willie. You know, it's, and, and obviously the team at the factory, but seeing, you know, this is the first time that Pedro's really had his own event stick the manifesto was mine for many years. Many of you guys and gals have come to events that I was at, and you got a box of manifestos, the two manifestos, and then I gave it to my little brother, and he had it for a couple of years. But this is really so many years, Pedro. You've been with us 15, 16 years. We worked together side by side for eight as we invented Cigar Safari along with Marielos. And now to see you guys collaborate together, create this beautiful cigar, I know Willie made you with his team with the underground rollers you got he, they provided you something that's a standout not just in its appearance and the fact that it's a collector stick and people are going to be looking for it everywhere but a cigar that's truly beautiful for a beautiful person 
Because, man, I know your mom. I know how proud she is of you. She comes over to the factory. She eats with us, your dad. And it makes me, it warms my heart to see the love of this company. I think that is the most important thing. And this is something that truly encapsulates that. I'm not even going to try to top that one. I'm, I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna show off some swag, I guess, because I'm, like, tearing up. When Pedro is speaking Spanish, I don't even speak Spanish. I was like, hey, this kid is misty in here. Um, but I'm going to show them the Undercrown 10 swag. So, you know, I got the – you know, I keep that thing on me. I got the bag. So now these are going to be some, some of the swag items. First of all, if you keep asking those questions, uh, you can win this. But first of all, we have the, this amazing Undercrown 10 kind of over-the-shoulder bag. You're going to have an Undercrown 10 – challenge coin you're gonna have an undercrown 10 chevetta knife look at that freaking thing i'm gonna put the, i'm gonna have will put this away properly for me so i don't hurt myself and then the nice thing is this all kind of comes together nice and packaged uh inside there's an undercrown 10 humidor there's an undercrown 10 flask frank we should have we should have thought of this in the beginning there's an undercrown 10 cutter and an Undercrown 10 swag. So uh, I think uh, we're, we're entering the year of, uh, I don't know if it's Undercrown 10 or 2021, but um, <laughs> let's get into some raffles. I think that's the time. So keep those questions coming. I'm going to pick some out, and we're going to ask them. But Frankie Drinks, uh, I, what am I drinking here? It's so delicious. No, wait, wait. Let's do some raffles, and then you yeah, can tell let, me about the let's, drink. Let's do let's some raffles. Let's get this raffles. back on track. <laughs> Let's do some raffles first, because I think people have been waiting long enough. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to say happy Freestyle Live to everybody out there, uh, because this is a hell of a celebration tonight. And uh, listen, I'm going to go right to the raffles, because you don't need to hear my blabber. So, the first thing that we're giving away is a standing humidor, uh, 2,000 cigars. So, uh, so make sure you buy 2,000 Drew Estate cigars. <laughs> You know, you can sprinkle in a couple others, but not much more. All right, so I'm going to go here first for the consumers, then I'm going to go to trade. So uh, so check it out. No Please whammies. Make sure you keep this all legal. I got my eye on it, man. All right, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm spinning. I'm eyeing you. I'm, I'm spinning. Eyeing you. I'm going to, like, when I make a drink, I spin one way uh, and then I spin the other. Okay. You know, just like to make sure that, that we get everybody in there. So, uh, I like your style. So here we go. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick out a number. I'm digging in, man. I'm not just picking the top stuff. I'm, I'm going heavy duty. And the winner is 1338. 1338. You are the winner of the standing humidor. Uh, congratulations. One, three, three, eight. So, uh, Jack, we got our winner, buddy. Right? We're ready for trade? We're ready for trade, man. Let's do this. Give, give that a spin, man. Do, do your best, man. Do, do I do a Frankie? I know you're really good. At, I, spin? Yeah, trying to break you're a good blender, man. Right, make let's, sure let's, that we get all those spread out. So hold on. Let me do one more. Yeah, there we go. He's a master spinner, master blender. There we go. There we go. All right, man. I'm going I'm to go ahead. I'm going to let you reach in there and pull one out for me. How about that? Pick a good one. So these are all our retailers. All right, man. Uh, so let's let's read the uh, West End Cigar there from Arkansas. West End Cigars, you win the 2000 uh, st stick humidor, standing humidor. And listen, uh, congratulations to you guys. Uh, listen, I'm going to make a cocktail because uh, this is where I feel at home. Uh, this is, you know, this is why I'm here, Willie. Hey, do you your know? thing, man. I mean, do your so, magic. Uh, okay. Do so I'm going to do my magic. So tonight's cocktail is called All Decked Out because we're celebrating Under Crown 10, that beautiful mystery cigar you guys have been waiting, you know, to find out what it was. And we're going to be celebrating a lot of that. So I'm going to start with a little Patron Extra Añejo. Uh, you guys, if, if you're drinking tequila, man, this is the, the beautiful, beautiful expression of this. It is. And, and what we're doing is we're, we're kind of celebrating – that beautiful Mexican San Andres wrapper, man. You know, because that, oh, yeah. that, that's how we do, right? That's how we do. Everything we do has got to have a reason. Got to so, have a story. has got to have a reason. So tonight, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to replicate a little bit of that Mexican hot chocolate. Because that's the beauty of the spirit that, you know, that, that we're, uh, we're celebrating coming out of Mexico. So next up, I've got like little Patron XO. Mm. 
which is their coffee liqueur. Then I've got a little tiny bit of something called Ancho Reyes, which is a Chile liqueur. That's what coming. that spiciness. Yes. Yeah, so, so, you know, if you've had Mexican hot chocolate, right, it has a little bit of a kick oh, to yeah. it. So, uh, so we're taking this another beautiful uh, spirit from Mexico. Then what I did was I took cacao. I took the cacao shells, and then I made a simple syrup out of it. And That's so I, I, I did it with uh, Demerara syrup. Because, uh, you know, we're trying to make this nice, rich, and beautiful. You, you're, and try, you're trying to make an underground tin in liquid form. I'm trying to make that's, huh? that's it, man. So when you gave okay. me that, that, that beautiful test blend okay. and those flavors came out, you know, and me and my, my right-hand man is Joey, right? You know, he, uh, you know we, we talked a lot about it. Yeah. You know, so shout out to my man Joey out there. Uh, we got a little Bitterman's chocolate mole bitters because if you're from Mexico, man, you got to have that chocolate mole. And I then like finally, it. you know, we're going to throw a little ice. We're going to throw a little ice in there. And like I told you, you know, when we give it a whirl, you know, we, we, we go, I like to go 15, 20 rounds one okay. way. You know, the spoon going up and down, and then I want to go 15 and 20 that way. And, you know, listen, shout out to my man Kenny Jordan out there. You know, tonight, man, enjoy your League of Ten because I know you love it. Uh, I know you do. So, Willie, uh, now I'm going to serve it on a big block of ice because that's the way, you know, if you're going to have a proper old-fashioned, you got to have it on a big block of ice. Okay. Look at how delicious, and you can see the richness, right? Oh, yeah, it's thick. Yeah, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit Ooh. of Mexican chocolate, and then I'm going to just grind it on the top there just to dress that up. So, Willie, oh, that's beautiful. this is the all decked out. It's a little tribute to our Undercrown tank. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations to the factory and everybody out there that's made a beautiful thing. I'm going to share this one with you, so uh, salute. Ooh. And uh, to everybody, to Jack. To my man Pedro, my man JD, uh, hold up your glasses, take a little sip, take a little puff. Oh wow! Uh, they don't, you they don't think my brother. Again, man. They don't call him Frankie drinks Ooh. for nothing. That's that's yeah, no exactly. joke right there. People call me other things for nothing, <laughs> but that those are free. So check it out, man. Check it out. You know, Jack. I know we got something special. Not only this cocktail, right? Yes. But we got something special too. Yes, while you get that set up really quickly, I want to make a quick reminder. If you are a winner, again, freestyle live at DrewEstate.com. Shoot us an email. We'll get that back to you. And keep those questions coming for a chance to win the Undercrown 10 swag. Um, we got Juan Martinez coming up. Hashtag Ask Juan. Hashtag Ask JD. Let's keep those going. Uh, and now I think that you guys are ready. It's, it's funny that uh, Willie found his way behind the bar because we're about to talk Lanceros, Willie. Tell us about the Lanceros for this year and how they came to be and uh, why we're so excited about them. Man, so how they came to be, you know, one of them came to be as one of the original, you know, limited releases that we'll do in one of our lines. The other came as kind of a, a spin-off of another cigar that I had done. And, you know, like everybody knows, I'm a big, small ring gauge guy. And to have wait, wait, the expression... You're a big, small ring gauge guy? I'm a big, small ring gauge guy. I'm a big guy, but I'm a fan of small ring. Oh, got you. You understand now? I got you. Okay. 100. And so, <laughs> <laughs> so we have finally back because they came out last year, small run. They sold out quick, so quick that I don't have any at home, and that's a problem. <laughs> so they're finally going to come back out again, both expressions, the Habano and the Lancero Broadleaf. So they are going to be in limited quantities again. But, man, when you see them, grab them because when they're gone, they're going to be gone. I'll tell you, I'm going to be the first in line. So beat me to the, to the punch because I'm going to grab as many as I can get. Willie, do you happen to know what my favorite size is? Lancero. Dude, that's amazing. <laughs> We're like this, dude. <laughs> Listen, um, what an amazing, uh, you know, announcement. Lanceros are back, and not only the Habana, but the, you know, Connecticut Broadleaf, man. Mm -hmm. And that, that's money. Joey stole all my last, you know, sticks that showed up. That's what Joey does. You know, but, you know, he's entitled, man. That's so, why he's a uh, wizard. He is he a wizard. He finds a way to grab everything. He is a wizard. Uh, you know, Jack, are we allowed to mention this thing? 
Yes. Talk about the Caja China, and then also we have some Habanos on the, the uh, sexy cam, the product cam that we're going to show off as well. All right. So, listen, I mean, it, of course they would pick two Cubans to talk about Caja China. So, uh, <laughs> Willie, take it away, brother. <laughs> Caja China, man. I, I mean, it goes hand in hand with Cubans. Anybody who's a Cuban or knows a Cuban or has been to a Cuban's house, you know, we, 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 we roast pigs for any and all occasions. You know, typically... You know, it was Christmas time, Noche Buena time. Now it's birthdays, long weekends, uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. It doesn't matter. We're doing Tuesday. a pig. It don't matter. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're doing a pig in a caja china. And a caja china is nothing more than a big wooden box that, you know, we kind of stole the ideas from the, from the Chinese back in the 1800s when they brought this contraption to Cuba. And so the Cubans got a hold of it. They kind of put their hand in it, and they line this box with, with you know, stainless steel or sheet metal in the inside. And then they, it comes with this grate that you sandwich the pig. You tie it up with, with wires, and you drop your pig inside. And, well, you know. Of and course. you put that lid. You put the coal in the four corners. You go to flipping the pig every couple hours, every three hours, depending on the size of the pig. And at the very, at, at the very end, you give that pig one last turn. So the skin is facing the top, and you load up that middle part of the cajachina. So if this is the cajachina lid, right here, you load you 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 load up this with coal, and that's what gives you that crispy crispy what we call pellejo. And it's the first the first thing that goes. It doesn't last when you're when you're chopping up that it's pig. It's a chicharron. It's yeah, that's it. Pig, it's a pig skin. It's the stuff that's got yes, the flavor. Mm. And you know, listen. So what do we have inside the box? Mm. We've got mm. Herrera Esteli Habano yeah. flying, flying pigs. pigs that were only available to safari guests. It was one of the cigars that was in the in the packs that we would give our guests when they arrived to Nicaragua. Now, they're going to be available at all events that I'm at. So, really excited about that. It's a beautiful expression of the blend. It's a, it's a cigar that smokes unlike any of the other cigars in the lineup. You know, I've talked about it before. It's kind of a combination. If you, sp if you, if you could imagine the Corona with the Toro and put it together, and that's the baby. And that's kind of how that cigar smokes because of the ring gauge, because of the shortness of it. You get that spiciness. You get that nuttiness from the, the, the bigger ring gauge. Love Just it. unbelievable smoke. I Excited. love it. And, and mind you, I love the Habano wrapper with agave spirits, man. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're having right mm -hmm. now or, or with the Mexican San Andres. So, uh, listen, uh, Jack, what else you got for us, man? Because uh, we need to get to drinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to let you guys, you know, I, I think the crew down here can take a, take a stick, take a sip. Which, by the way, shout out to Sticks and Sips, the show that Frank hosts every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. I just happen to produce it. I mean, some people do say that it's the most well-produced show besides this one um, ever. Um, but I think it's time. Uh, you guys kick back. I need to talk to Mr. Juan Martinez in Nicaragua. Uh, now, Juan, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick you a question here about one of the most exciting cigars for me personally. Um, and one of the cigars that I can't wait to smoke the most that we talked about or we announced yesterday, the uh, Hoya de Nicaragua Dos Cientos. So I think that you're smoking one right now. Could you just mail me that one that you're smoking I right am. now and then talk about Dos Cientos for a second? I will. I will, my friend. But just let me say that, uh, indeed, Stick and Sips is one of the best produced uh, shows out there. So cheers to you, my friend. Um, Dos Cientos, man. You know, Hoya de Nicaragua, it's the 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 factory of Nicaragua is well known for its history, its origins, its pioneer effort and spirit. Um, and as always, we would position ourselves taking advantage of Nicaragua's legacy. So this year we're celebrating 200 years of independence, independence of uh, from the crown, from Spain, 200 years of Central America independence. So in commemoration of that and in tribute to all of those people who fought for the liberty 200 years ago, we're introducing Doscientos, which is basically a tribute to Central America and to Latin America. We call it Doscientos Años de Libertad, or 200 Years of Freedom, uh, for those of you um, who love the history of Latin America. But most importantly, and why this is so special, is because it brings together the best tobaccos from the Mesoamerican terroir. So this is a cigar, one cigar only to celebrate 200 years of history.
for Central America. It's going to be an ultra limited edition, one size, a 6x54. Uh, it's going to be coming out during this summer. It has, and what's really, really unique about it is that tobaccos, the best tobaccos from the best terroirs in Central America. Of course, tobaccos from Nicaragua, tobaccos from Honduras, tobaccos from the Dominican Republic, tobaccos from Mexico, and tobaccos from Ecuador. So a multi-origin blend that showcases just the best of what uh, Latin American tobacco has to offer. So 200, which in Spanish is 200. And uh, I would also like to mention that as we celebrate that, uh, this is, by the way, the, the box of, of this beautiful piece, uh, we will be also in this 20 count box, we have one additional cigar, which is Cello Uniquely Wrapped. So it's 21 count box. And this cigar is meant to be enjoyed together. So as a part of the celebration, we'll be hosting on this on the day of the independence of Central America, September 15, 2021, 200 years of independence. We're going to be smoking this cigar together. So make sure you grab it, you save it, and we'll light it up together on September 15th. Back to you, Jack. Yeah, one uh, 2021, or at least September. Holy cow! If you're a, if you're a Drew Estate and Hoya fan, you're gonna have quite a full month. Um, now you mentioned the 21 count. You mentioned that special uh, paper wrapped cigar and some of the some of the tobaccos in it. Um, in the spirit of celebration, this is this cigar is only coming out this once, right? This is our only shot to get Doscientos ever. And how many boxes did you save for me? I thought you said like 10, but I didn't. I don't know. Maybe it's the intercom. I didn't hear that that well. <laughs> For you, for you, it's only half a box because you have to share with Frankie, and I know he he <laughs> hurls all the boxes. Um, so it's 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 a limited run. Ultra limited means that there's not coming out next year. It's only two thousand five hundred boxes of twenty one cigars each. One size only. One celebration. One bicentenary. One time to celebrate two hundred years of freedom until the four hundredth anniversary in two hundred years. So look out for it because it's just gonna be one run. Um, now, I got a question from, I think it was Jason Blanchard, who asked you, uh, now this is not a, uh, this is not a Docientos question, but he says he wants to know what makes Cuatro Cinco so special. So congratulations, Jason. Uh, you, you won yourself a uh, Undercrown 10 swag bag. Be sure to email us, Freestyle Live at Drew Estate. Um, but what makes Cuatro Cinco so special? Congrats, Jason. Um, so Cuatro Cinco, one of my personal favorite blends um it's not only because of what it represents for us as a factory on its 45th anniversary it's special because of the tobaccos it's an old nicaraguan blend with a dominican binder and the tobaccos in that blend have been aged in vintage oak barrels so we have a quite an interesting complex smooth uh reflection of the nicaraguan tobacco that's quite flavorful yet it contains all of the nuances that you get in this special aging process uh, inside for one year inside those vintage oak barrels. And by the way, uh, Cuatro Cinco is coming out in a very special edition for TAA exclusive. It's called Cuatro Cinco Americana for you guys to enjoy. Thank you so much, Juan. Now hang tight. We have some other amazing Hoya releases that I'm sure you saved me at least 10 boxes of, so we can go over those uh, very soon. But next, we're going to talk about uh, this guy, the Traditional Ensemble. So this is a product that we came out with. It's six amazing sticks, two of each of our some of our amazing traditional blends. So uh, I know you guys have seen a little bit of this already, but uh, I want you guys to check this out. Get ready for a more Traditional Ensemble. Willie, I want to talk to you about this a little bit. Um, this is a this is a six by fifty sampler, which is a little bit different because each of these cigars usually comes in a in a slightly larger ring gauge. Um, why is this six by fifty sampler a little different? How do these cigars smoke differently or the blends than the the tradition you know the regular sizes that are in each of these lines? Well, Jack, the blends are the same. You know, it's the same tobaccos, 
but you know every size it within a line smokes slightly different and this is uh, another perfect example you know that six by fifty every single one of those sticks are going to smoke very different from everything else that you're used to in that lineup you get that you know depending on the which which one of the cigars you're smoking at that time you know the richness of the wrapper the spiciness of the wrapper the sweetness of the wrapper the blend just to me you know again i'm a smaller ring guy uh i'm a big 50 ring guy especially when you talk about old school traditional robustos five by fifties this is a six by fifty so it's right in that wheelhouse for me so it's great to have you know that ring gauge which it's right in my wheelhouse it's it's just it's sm they smoke amazing uh it's a beautiful expression and it's something very different from anything else in the line it, it, it the, each of those cigars each of those blends tells its own story in that lineup wonderful now i'm excited for everybody to get their hands on those um with all of these releases if there's some information that you're digging for or looking for you can head to our website drewestate.com and then backslash de bonanza takeover and we have the full press releases all the specs all the shipping dates on all of our uh all of our new stuff coming out. So if you are if you have any questions that we didn't get to or we don't answer your question, be sure to check that out and we'll get to it. Now, the next product I am very excited about, but I know JD is 10 times more excited than I am, and we're talking about Nika Rustica. Now, JD, uh, we have re-envisioned, re reimagined Nika Rustica, and it's not just, not just on the outside, but from the ground up. JD, talk about Nika Rustica and its future and where we're headed with Nika Rustica. Yeah, thanks a lot, Frank. You know, <laughs> uh, excuse me, Jack. You know, the first thing I was just looking around and I was thinking about this production that we're doing tonight and I see a bunch of the guys jumping around who really, you can't imagine the work and the intensity of creating this. I just want to throw a big shout out to my man Iran and to the Center of Excellence, the Centers of Excellence at Drew Estate, who are the behind the scenes. You know, lots of times we talk about the underground brand uh, because it's such a fascinating brand that we, we put this spotlight you know, beyond Willie, myself, Pedro, or, and Frank, and to the rollers who created the blend, but it's really so much of the things that happen that make us such a strong company is this tethered approach of this Voltron-forming Leviathan, and just mad shout out to, to everybody across the Drew Estate platform, wherever you are, and, and especially tonight to Centers of Excellence and Joe Grow as well. So jumping back, Jack, to... to you know, one of these brands, you know, you talk about, like, one of the most underrated cigars. One of the brands that have kind of been, like, you know, Drew Estate's got so many fascinating brands. You know, fire brand like Acid or, uh, or uh, Liga Privada, Undercrown, Herrera, all this stuff going on. And, and this brand, Nika Rustica, has been like this, you know, underrated. And, and the, that part of it, the weirdest thing is that it hasn't come from the cigar consumers. All we hear from cigar consumers is, how do I get Nicarustica? That everybody's out of it, they're always out of it. And, and you know, let me tell you what happened, and let me tell you where we're going with this. So, Nicarustica was a passion product for us. Nicarustica was not meant to be the world's biggest brand. It wasn't this like hugely, deeply, five years in the making. Nicarustica was a, was a passion product. It was a tribute to our city, where La Gran Fabrica stands. It was our tribute to Esteli. And this for us was like this great moment of creating a product with this tribute, the, our, our Brujito, our Shaman, the whole feel of, of Nico Rustica. And you know, with all of the, 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 the growth at the factory, you know, I talk now about us making 250,000 cigars a day. I mean, the magnitude of that. I mean, Willie's shaking his head. A factory that makes 30,000, 20,000 sticks a, a day is considered one of the world's biggest. We, we're 250,000 cigars a day. Nico Rustica was one of these brands that was like quietly there, and, and we never got behind it as a company. So. You know, over the last year or so, we, we've been talking about Nico Rustica and why this, this product is so special, why we always had a stock. Our sales team, Ike, everybody always complaining. Everybody wants Nico Rustica. How come we never have any? And one of the big reasons is the broad leaf. You guys smoke Liga Pravada. 
That broadleaf is super expensive, hard to get, and we're always using those leaves for Liga Privada. Now we're buying so much leaf for Liga, a lot of that same material, a little bit little thinner of a, of, a, of a wrapper, that's going to be for Nica Rustica. So over this year, we've saved up, we put aside, we've, and we are taking a whole new approach to Nica Rustica. This is about to be for us the serious commitment to this brand. And when you guys see what we're doing with Nica Rustica, it's not just what you see before you now with the broad leaf. It's where are we taking Nica Rustica? And I'll tell you why it's so important. How many of you out there have smoked a factory, pre uh, a factory smoke? When you smoke Drew Estate factory smoke, you're like, holy shit. This stick is worth way more. My man never good in Philly Phil. That's his favorite fucking cigar. They, that cigar factor, and that's part of something. It's, it's a movement within Drew Estate. It's called our value category. And for me, you guys know I'm a value guy. I'm always about the blue collar. I'm always like fighting. Don't raise prices. What can we do at the cigar factory to increase efficiency? We don't want to raise prices. Always thinking about everybody to be able to participate in premium cigars. That's what makes Factory Smoke such a beautiful project. Nika Rustica is following in, the, in, in that category as well. I mean, when you think about it, look what you're getting. I mean, look at this. This Nika Rustica, this is, this is the, the new way you'll see this product on the shelf. It's for real. It's broad leaf. It's really where you're gonna get this for five bucks, five fifty six six dollars for a broad leaf Drew Estate cigar. It's just that's what makes this so important. So now, for those of you who haven't smoked Nicarustica in a long time, now you're gonna smoke it. You gotta go and get it. Trust me. I mean, I don't want to lose Liga Provada smokers to it, but I mean, it's that good. But right, Willie's there. He knows. But. You know, so, so this is like a night where we're kind of restating to the world. We're behind this blend. We're behind the concept behind this blend, the pride of Esteli. And also, you know, uh, speaking about Esteli and speaking about a lot of these, you know, the, 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 the work behind the product, the way it looks and stuff, comes from our subculture studios in Nicaragua. And I just want to also tonight give a mad shout out to my boy, Jesse Flores, who, you know, he founded subculture studios with me over 20 years ago. And as you guys know, he's been with us so long, and he's moved up and on, owning his own company, doing his own things. You guys all follow him and shit. Uh, mad, mad shout out to Jesse for all he does and, contri and has contributed to the world of, of, of cigars and graffiti. And that platform was that subculture studio. Tonight, you know, this is a, a new step. This is a, a, new, a new moment where we're really digging in with our boy Dog, and you're going to see more, and Joey... As you guys know, the wizard and dog created the beautiful packaging that's that's on here. So it's a really big moment for the brand, and uh, you're going to see a lot from it and about it. So about about it. Shout out to Sergio too. All right, now I have a couple questions for you, and while I ask these, we can check out the uh, the Nika Rustica, the brand new look on the product cam. Now this one's I'm going to ask you a, a this one's a little deep. This says uh, JD. And this is Jim Huffman. Jim. Freestyle Live at Drew Estate. Shoot us an email. Congratulations. You get the uh, the Undercrown 10 swag bag. He says, at the end of the day, what drives you to envision the success of the company, the employees of Nicaragua, and Drew Estate fans with your drive, passion, and vision? So that's a nice, nice easy question. Uh, what drives you to uh, – what drives you, I guess, if you were to distill that? You know, yeah, I'm definitely driven. That's not a question. Um there's so much to that. I mean, it's such a broad question. And I, I think it's the same thing that drives me as what drives the institution called Drew Estate, which is passion. I mean, you know, sometimes I watch Shark Tank and the things and I hear, oh, very passionate about my, you know, my meat cleaver. And I'm like, yo, dude's passionate about his meat cleaver. You know, it's cool. You know, when you come to La Grand Fabrica Drew Estate and you just stepping into our street, even forget our building, when you're on our street, you know that's our block. You're there. You've arrived at La Grand Fabrica. And for those who've been there, and there's thousands, you know what I'm talking about. Then you step onto our land that we bought when we had no money, when we were begging and borrowing the whole shit. And that land is like religion to me. And you see that 14-foot, you know, um, Guadalupe and the... the, the the religious pieces that are there, you know, it's very spiritual. And what drives me is this, this state of just, you know, living life to your absolute maximum potential. 
being free and the freedom that, that, you know, Drew Estate has always stood for diversity. We've always been the place where like, hey, I didn't fit in here, I didn't fit in there, where do I go? Drew Estate. We take you in because we love you. That love is very deep and very serious. And it may be, sound like some kumbaya shit, but believe me, for those who know, know Jack, that what drives me, I think, and our company is love, it's diversity, it's freedom, and being able to spend incredible times together. And even better, when you're going to burn a stick and spend those times burning one of our cigars, and not just Drew Estate. Let me just say, to, to all the factories in Esteli, Nicaragua, you know, we have mad love for, for you. And, you know, our tributes, a brand like Nica Rustica, it's not just to our workers at the factory. It's to the city of Esteli. It's to, you know, uh, Candida, Pedro, who we lost this year, who my first two years in Nicaragua, I was sleeping on the floor and I didn't have money to eat or, or pay the packaging girls. And she funded us, she fed us for two years, this lady. We lost her this year. We had the mayor, she cut the thing with the mayor and, and, and when we opened La Gran Fabrica Numero Dos and you know, that's love, man. So for me, the more we drive the business, the more we build Esteli, the more we give to Nicaragua. The, Nicaragua has given us so much, so much. To my man Ricardo, who's the ambassador of Nicaragua in London, you know, this guy speaks on it, he waxes poetic. Drew Estate cares about Nicaragua and, and for me, those two things is our consumers in the United States and our people in Esteli and our people in Nicaragua. As long as I'm here on earth, I'm always going to make you first because, you know, we love you. So the drive is there. Wonderful. Now, the next question is from Justin G Justin D. Kenny. Uh, Justin, Freestyle Live at Drew Estate. Shoot us an email, brother. He said, uh, where do you see Nika Rustica headed in the future? And also, uh, if you guys want to check out a, a brand new look at this guy on the product cam. Go ahead. Where do you see Nika Rustica? What's the future of Nika Rustica, J.D.? Oh, the future of Nika Rustica, is, you know, like I've been talking a little bit about tonight, is, you know, it's so important. There's a lot of rich dudes out there and do that, right? There's a lot of people with money, and there's a lot of people who put money aside to be able to have their, their weed money or their cigar money or their take-a-trip money. But not everybody is like that, you know? I didn't grow up with no money. And... I want and we want everybody to be able to have a world-class experience as part of the Drew Estate value selection. And for Nika Rustica, what I want to be uh, to convey tonight is that we care about you. We're not the big dog, the top executive with the, you know, the golfing at the golf cart and three people carrying the shit. No. It's across the board. Everybody should be able to enjoy premium cigars and good ones, not some shit. So the future of Nica Rustica is this. The future is making sure our tribute to Esteli Nicaragua is intact and, the, and to be able to make sure that people are getting a great value like we do with factory smokes. So mad shout out to Eddie Wong. <laughs> He's making gestures over there. You ready, Jack? Yes, and I think that it's time we, we head back to Esteli and a, and a young gentleman in Esteli, uh, Mr. Juan Martinez. Juan, uh, the Antonio GT is a new product from Hoya to Nicaragua. Tell people about the Antonio GT and tell people about how they can get it and what's special about the Antonio GT, if you don't mind. I think we might have lost. We might have lost. JD, go ahead. You keep talking. I've been looking in the yeah, camera at myself, and I'm like, yo, <laughs> you keep my shit is fat. <laughs> this shirt is like, what's up? We so lost. Yo, we'll yeah. get Juan back. Listen, we. I want to just talk for a moment about Hoya and Nicaragua while we connect back with my man Juan. There he is. There he is. We love you, Juan. We love the Hoya to Nicaragua people and all the staff. Is he back on, on track with us or what? Well, let me just tell yeah, you yeah. guys I'm that here. tonight here. with Hoya de Nicaragua, you know, you guys are broadcasting in from the motherland, from the Mecca, the Medina, and we love you. So it looks like we're back on. Yes. Sorry about that brief delay. Uh, we got a thunderstorm in Miami. That's, Yeah. So Juan, Antonio GT, go ahead. Sorry about that. Uh, no worries, man. I just want to head back to JD and, and thank you with all of our heart for all those 
profound and deep words that you always share and love about Nicaragua, your story, your your history in Nicaragua. It's profound. It's profound. It's deep, and we appreciate it, man. From all the way from Nicaragua, we hope you we hope you get back here soon. Um, so, on that note, on what uh, on on what um, Nicaragua represents, we are also bringing to you coming soon the Antaño GT20, which is basically a commemoration of the 20 years of Antaño, the legacy of Antaño. For many of you, this brand is the legend of all brands. Uh, Antaño has been, came into the market in 2001, and it's what we call a legendary brand because it's, what, it's on what cigar legends are written about. Uh, so we are very happy to be uh, uh, showcasing the future legend of Antaño by bringing to you an upgraded experience of the Antaño Gran Reserva. So this year coming to you, we'll have Antaño Gran Reserva GT20, which is a Gran Toro box press, 6x54. It's a regular release. It has all of the greatness of Antaño, the same tobaccos grown in the same plot of land from the same varieties of tobacco, since 2000, the same Antonio lineage that you love, that you appreciate, that has come to be one of your favorite cigars, now it's coming on an enhanced and upgraded GT experience. Um, so we're very happy to be celebrating together with Drew Estate so many years of resilience, of effort, of dedication, together with Underground and all of the great brands. Uh, so Antonio Gran Reserva GT20 is our new introduction to celebrate the 20 years of Antonio, but most importantly, to celebrate the future, to grow on the legend of what Antonio is. So wait for it, Antonio GT20 is this beautiful Gran Toro 6x54. So back to you, Jack. All right, now, uh, Juan, thank you so much for... Uh talking us to uh, talking to us about the Antonio GT um, I promised everybody in multiple trainings that we were gonna make uh, bull power things so hashtag bull power like GT you guys get it like a sports car um, whatever Frankie drinks I think it's time we could all probably use another drink and I think the people could probably use some more prizes if you're if you're all right with that Hang on, Frank. One, one second, Frank. Uh, we're having some issues hearing you. Um, but we're going back over Nicarustica. A lot of the same blend or the same blend information is there and a lot of the same specs. Now, Frank, let's make a Nicarustica cocktail and get this thing back on track. All right. Shall we? So, uh, listen. Uh, so, Jack, I'm going to go with the drawing first. Is that cool? I think we should do that. That sounds good to me. All right. So, listen, uh, for this beautiful bar only slightly used by me so that should increase its value like by at least 17 percent so uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead with the next raffle and the next raffle is the bar and that's i'm gonna start with the consumer side so i'm giving a big uh you know you know i think pedro like 15 one way 15 the other what do you what do you say bro yes sir 50 50. Yeah, it's not 50-50, but it's like 15-15. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pick a number here, and I'm reaching the bar, I'm huh? reaching in for the bar, man, because oh I, I don't want to let this thing go, man. Uh, you know uh, this thing. Well, the cigar cave with the bar is a cigar cave. Is that right, Frank? It, true. It doesn't come with anything on the bar right now. Just letting you know. So, uh, so the big winner for the Undercrown Bar, one six seven two. You are the big winner for the big Undercrown Ten Bar, one six seven two. 
So, uh, so make sure that you uh, respond to uh, whoever you need to respond to. Uh, Jack, you gonna tell us right? Freestyle live at drewestate.com. Send us an email. Freestyle live at drewestate.com. Now I'm going over to the the retail side. You know, these are are getting a little sticky, so I want to make sure that they all get uh, you know, all mixed in, and we're gonna get our retailers. Retailers gonna get this beautiful bar as well. And uh, listen. I'm excited. Let's see who it's going to be. You might need Willie to help you I'm dig down in. in there. Jeez, you need a step stool yeah, or something? Geez, you know, he's like. <laughs> so, our big winner, Smoking Cave Outlet at Highlands Ranch, oh Colorado. Oh, my goodness. Smoking Cave. Sean. You win the beautiful bar. So, congratulations, you guys. Listen, I'm going to do, uh, J.D., that was an amazing story about Nika Rustica, about going back home, going back to our roots. So, uh, so I want to do something special. And tonight, I'm, I'm doing a cocktail called A Brujito Grows in Brooklyn. And I'm going to start <laughs> with Florida Kanye 12, right? Because that's, oh. that's what we got to do, right? Oh. Uh, you know, listen. It's it's the way to go. So I'm doing now an the ounce. party is about to get better, huh? Yeah. So we're doing the Florida Kanye uh, 12, and I'm doing an ounce of that. Then I'm adding one of my favorite spirits. I'm doing a Smith and Cross. Oh kinda Lord. Give it a little bit of funk, because that's what Nika Rusica is about, right? Because when you light that Nika Rusica up, you get that blast of smoke, man, and it's just a beautiful expression of what we do and uh this is a riff i'm doing a little uh little three quarter ounce of vermouth uh i use a beautiful carpano antica which i love uh personally just got that beautiful sweetness and those beautiful flavors coming in and then i'm kicking it up with a little uh pierre ferrand uh orange curacao so I've got a little quarter ounce, man, just a touch, man, because, you know, that's the beauty of a brujito is that uh, we're, we're doing, uh, we're scaling it up, right? It's, it's, it's something that's a very classic cocktail. And a little, last but not least, a little quarter ounce of Luxardo Maraschino. And uh, I'm going to hit it with some ice. You guys can see I have a very ample bar in which to work in. So, uh, so uh, for those of you guys over at uh, Smoking Cave, you're gonna love this. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up. So I'm doing two stirred cocktails tonight. So I wanna stir this really, really good. I wanna get it chilled. And I'm gonna go the other way. Uh, listen, every week, I'm making cocktails on sticks and sips, so I hope you're tuning in. Uh, thank you, guys, that do tune in. And uh, listen, last little piece, man. I'm serving it in a beautiful uh, coupe glass because this is the way we're going to celebrate uh, be the beautiful spirit and the energy behind Nika Rustica. And last but not least, I'm going to put a little double Luxardo cherry on there so uh, for those of you guys that know what this is about so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and give those out to my crew and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a little cheers together yeah Frank while you do that I'm gonna tell the people and show off a little bit of barn smoker swag if you don't mind so let's uh, we'll get the guys situated with some drinks um, I am currently holding a barn smoker VIP bag um, now, I think that these are sold out all across the country, but we do still have general admission tickets, and there's only a few left in a few key areas. So if you want to come to a barn smoker in this kit, similar to the Undercrown 10 kit, a little bit juiced up depending on what you get. There's a humidor. We're going to have some amazing cigars as always. Uh, just for your reference, we have Connecticut, August 14th and 15th. There's still tickets left for Sunday, I believe. Kentucky, October 9th. Still a couple tickets left, and then Florida is November 13th and November 14th. So for you guys, if you have never been to a barn smoker, would you believe it? I've never been to a barn smoker, so I'm going to go to my first barn smoker this year, and I'm really excited to see you guys and talk about the American tobacco experience. And also, I have a, I have a drink waiting in the wings because this is, a, this is showbiz, baby. Now, uh, cheers to all of you guys, Frank. 
sir. Uh, so uh, listen, we, what we got is a little bit of we got a little Brooklyn, and uh, we're celebrating tonight. Uh, Nicarusica, big return, man. Uh, listen, going back to its place of dominance and coming back strong. And uh, this is a strong cocktail, a brujito, just like our emblem. It grows in Brooklyn as an homage to uh, to JD and starting Drew Estate over over in uh, in, in our homeland. You know, we, we will never too far from New York. That that that's that's our place where we where we came from from New York to Esteli to Miami, and we're all together on this. So uh, raise a glass, guys. Uh, much love to all of you. Uh, what what a great night to be together. Salut. Salut. Salute. Wonderful. Now, I think it's time to check in again with Mr. Juan Martinez. And I am currently smoking. I got like seven things in my hands. This is a, a master class in uh, hosting. Um, I'm smoking a Numero Uno currently. And a couple of cigars that are back this year are the Numero Uno and the Cinco Decadas. Juan, if you would talk about both of these cigars, and then I'll kick you a question after that. So hit both of them, and then uh, I'll kick you back with a good question. Well, you know, those of you who have been enjoying Hoya and Nicaragua more and more recently, you notice that we've come up with this family of cigars called Obras Maestras, or Masterpieces. Both, uh, both over, uh, Numero Uno and uh, Cinco Decadas fit with that family. The Cinco Decadas, if you remember, comes to celebrate the 50 years, the half century of existence of Hoya and Nicaragua. And that family of cigars came comes every year with a limited batch of highly, highly limited tobacco, more than 10 years age, those tobaccos in the Cinco Decadas. And that's our the jewel in our crown that commemorates all of the resilience, the trajectory, not only of Hoya de Nicaragua as a factory, but most importantly, of the people of Nicaragua as a cigar making country. So we're coming out with a limited batch for 2021 of Cinco Decadas. Some of the sizes, uh, El General, El Diadema, and uh, El Doctor, of course, that we introduced last year that was a great success that many of you enjoyed and appreciated. And of course, we cannot, you know, talk in freestyle love without mentioning our dear numero uno that has been named Cigar of the Year by our friends at Half Wheel, Cigar Dojo, and most recently, it got the number six Cigar of the Year in Cigar Aficionado. So this is coming also in a limited ongoing basis. We have limited batches of boxes that come over every year. So now they're hitting the shelves. So if you want to smoke a Numero Uno, a fantastic award-winning blend, make sure you get your hands on the few boxes that are going to be out there. We did we did spend a special allocation to the U.S. just because there were a lot of people that wanted to try L'Ambassador, which was the number six cigar of the top 25 in 2020. So those are hitting the shelf soon. So both Numero Uno and uh, and, Numer and uh, Cinco Decas are coming your way. So make sure you grab a box or at least a few cigars because they're not going to be a long, uh, longer during the year. Back to you, Jack. Uh, Juan, I, Juan, I know that if I, if I were in charge, I think that they would be just like my event-only cigar, even though I, I technically work for Drew Estate. And they would just be kind of my, like, Event only cigar, even though I don't do events, because uh, if it were up to me, I'd smoke nothing other than I was just looking for my numero uno. It's it's in my hand. It's been a long night, but uh, Juan, we'll get back to you right at the end of the show. Um, I think I don't think that we're all out of news yet. Um, you guys, a lot of you guys are probably sticking around for the raffle, but we have another jaw dropper coming up. Uh, Jonathan Drew, we have a very exciting announcement, a piece of news uh, for some of the people watching. What are we about to uh, unleash on the people with some of our events coming up? Let them know. Well, first thing is, uh, yo, my locked in? There we go. Is, yo, Frankie Dranks, every Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, sticks and sips. This, let me tell you something, dude. What a drink. Unbel unbelievable. Beautiful. Salute, brother. Salute. That's really great. You know what we do? If we're going to do anything, Jack, we do it right. Uh, we have no time for dicking around with bullshit and minor league nonsense uh this is a crew w we expect a lot and you know when you think about expectations in liga privada expectations have been high since the release of liga privada number nine liga privada number nine 
I just want to rewind back to something I, I've spoke about a few times, but I want to speak about it tonight even more. My admiration for certain companies. I talk sometimes about Don Orlando, Jose, Jose Orlando Padron. And when I started off in 1996 in the, in the cigar industry, one of the very first things that happened to me was, and William, I don't know if I ever told you about this, was the night that Opus X was released was at the World Trade Center at, yeah, at the World Trade Center, up top. And I had my little kiosk downstairs, and they invited me upstairs. They said, oh, we're going to have a big cigar event. I said, well, what do we do? Carlito Fuente and, and, and his dad. I said, all right, I want to be there. And they released a brand called Opus X. So, yo, to, to you and to me and to many of you out there, you know, that, that's a – looking back now, the, the, the grandeur of that product was always something. I was there that night. I was there that night where Carlito himself handed me two torpedoes up at, not the Rainbow Room, um, Windows of the World at, at the World Trade Center. And that moment had stuck with me so much for so long. And to watch that brand develop, and in the weirdest way, with total tribute and homage and, and respect to, to Carlito and the Fuente family, that had always been like a pinnacle moment to me that I had always hoped that Drew Estate we would have that moment. Because whether Acid became the biggest brand in the United States, which it is now, I still wanted that moment of, of our, that moment for us, that pinnacle moment of that brand. And Liga Privada has turned out over the last 10 years to exemplify excellence of Nicaragua, to exemplify excellence of Drew Estate. And as Liga de developed from Liga 9, T52, Unico, you know, all of those products as the master blender at the time for a certain period, myself, Drew Estate, Saka, Nicholas. You know, I remember when, when the question kept coming up, you know, with Liga, you know, Willie's the new master blender. Do Maybe we should wait, have him not blend something. You know, we don't want anybody to compare it and maybe see it's not as good. I said, fuck this shit. That's my dude. He's here for a reason. He's going to blend. Let him do it. And, you know, I report back to you that the Liga 10 and the H99 have met all of the expectations that I demand from the Liga Pravada brand. And our biggest challenge with this cigar was not like keeping it in stock. This is hybrid material. Jack, people, I, I hear people talk about hybrids and a hybrid. You know, we look to history, to, to Hanky Kellner, to Andy and Sylvia Perez, as true hybrids have been born in the tobacco industry. And this Liga Pravada 10 now, really, when you think of a hybrid, I want you to think of one cigar only. I want you to think of Liga Pravada 10, H99, Liga Pravada. This is, to me, the, the right now, this is just the next level, as Pedro Gomez would say, of hybridity. <laughs> and now, starting in what, two days? I think it's two days from now. We start rocking out three days with the, with the Underground 10 events. You're going to now, just like we had during the Herrera events that we had just going on, you were able to get the H99s, which a lot of people love. Now you're going to have that opportunity to start getting at all of the Drew Estate events. You're going to start having the opportunity to get Liga Privada 10th anniversary. So, you know, many of you have seen the box on, on camera. Many of you have seen the box, uh, us holding it. And uh, some of you, have smoked the cigars, but what I want to say is now to all the Drew Estate TMs, territory managers, um, we finally got you hooked up, guys. We finally got you the Liga 10. It's coming for all of your events, and I just want to say thank you so much to our territory managers and our bums and our Drew Estate sales force. These guys are so dedicated to not just selling cigars, because we Drew Estate sells fucking cigars. What are you worried? Drew Estate ain't going to sell cigars? Please. Shit. <laughs> what they do that I love so much and the reason that I respect our sales force so much and the reason the marketing department and the sales department are so locked at Drew Estate, just like marketing and production are locked, is because they care about virtue. That's what I love. And now we're going to honor you back, the sales team, of which, by the way, Pedro... And Willie and everybody here for us tonight, we have the largest amount of women, females, who, who are in any, sale, in any sales department of any company. All the girls, the guys, the gang, 
we got for you guys the League of Ten. So you need to check us out on our Drew Diplomat app. Find out where all your Pedro events are, your Willie events, my man Frank Moreno, and some of my events. And we're going to get you the League of Tens because we got them coming out. So, And believe me, it is well worth it, and you are going to understand. That's it. I'm amped up. I just want to remind you, asses, get on to that event bright tomorrow and get that DE25. We're going to go ballistic. Now, J.D., I'd be remiss if we did not mention uh, the other cigar. And, and before, a lot of the people that, that weren't here, uh, before this show went on, we ordered more food than was completely necessary, and we stuffed ourselves to, to an absurd level. Some would say that we had a savage feast. Uh, talk about, talk about, do you see what I did there, J.D.? That was, this is, this is was like, good. we're 90 minutes in, and I think we still got it rolling. Talk about your event-only cigar, the savage feast, and how that came to be. Yo, so Jack, you know, when this guy came on board, my man Jack right here, when he came on board with, with the company, I was like, you know, I don't know because I got a high threshold. Of, I'm like the fucking bad guy now. At this company. And I got to say, brother, you are perfectly so embedded. I mean, you've been with Dojo a long time. You've been a cigar fanatic for many years and all over the boards and everywhere. But you're, you're waxing poetic tonight. And... I'm just feeling so inspired and feeling so thankful of each of you who are here tonight, even Will. Um, <laughs> so, Mira, so, Mira, come on. Who didn't take these out of the plastic? You guys got <laughs> that was me. I got to be honest. Showing cigars in the plastic? There's one of them that's not in plastic, JD, no, I swear. Send my man walk in chin after you. All right. <laughs> So we got the Savage Feast. All right, I'm doing a Pedro Gomez move right here. I got the, we got the Savage Feast for my events. So, you know, you got the Herrera, the Cajachina, which I got to tell you, Willie, I had some at my house. And everybody was coming over and seeing those Cajachinas. They were like, JD, I'm taking that. I got to talk to it. They look so beautiful, so cute in that little box. You're such a huge giant. And there's like a little short fatty. They probably should have given me the little fatty. But, and Pedro with his 20, and Pedro has told you guys about the 20. So I'm also blessed in my Liga 10. Willie blended it up for me, and it's called Savage Feast because my fat ass is always feasting. Some of you has been with me all around the country and the world. We're eating good like we're going to do at DE25. That's why you got to get that event right because we're going to be eating good, savage feasting, and having a savage good time. So... Thank you, Jack. Let's rock it out with, with that League of Ten. All right, J.D., I got a question for you, and I don't know why I keep putting this on the ground. Insane. Uh, Conrad Davenport says, ask J.D., by the way, Conrad, Freestyle Live at DrewEstate.com. If you forget, I'll never forgive you. Uh, he says, what are you most proud of for the last 25 years? And you can say me. It's okay if you'd, if you'd like. Well, Jack, it's certainly <laughs> not you. <laughs> Ricardo Cherry, which is part of the garnish to that Brujito grows in Brooklyn, because uh, that's how we roll. Yo, this is only the finest garnish. Yo, Frankie Dranks, that's why I'm telling people. Do you guys have any clue what the viewership is of, of Sticks and Sips? I mean, you talk about some of the biggest liquor companies and the biggest distributors of liquor in the world. They don't even have as many people who watch. My man Frankie Tranks and Joey Drew and the crew who are on there rocking out every Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. And, you know, that's the thing that makes us so different, Frank. Tell me. You know what I got coming up next Wednesday? What do you got? I got Glenn Fiddick and my main, my main man, Dave Allardis, DJ Paradise, right, which is his alter ego, but we're not going to say nothing. But he's going to be on, and we're going to be talking – Glenn Fittick, beautiful single malt scotch, bro. Is he, do you think he's Banksy? Yes. <laughs> Him and Damien Hirsch. But, uh, yeah, one of the two. <laughs> well, all right. So here's the deal. Look, um, uh, I think the question was something about what I'm most proud about. And uh, tonight I spoke to you guys a lot from my heart. When I listened to Pedro, Willie, Frank, and... and, and Obviously, Jack and Juan in Hoya. You know, uh, I'm proud that you guys continue and gals continue to have as part of your life. Um, I always talk to the gang here and, you know, tell people, listen, the most important thing is being appreciative. These moments that we have together, they don't last forever. They don't. 
you have to appreciate them every every step of the way the people who've been at true estate and who've moved on and done other great things and built their own companies or moved to other companies in nicaragua I, i'm really proud of of our executive team my boss our ceo glenn wolfson and the team he's put together for allowing us to continue drew estate after the sale with swisher to swisher to still have our soul and to never strip us as we institutionalize our company and make our company stronger with things like centers of excellence and and uh uh Business intelligence and things that I didn't know about or, or have the, the, the backing, to the <laughs> understanding of. Which one? Our executive team and the Swisher the team one? allowed us to stay the true second estate one? and not have to, to sell out or sell our souls. This is what I really feel deeply proud of. And tonight, yo, I want to shout out to, to our parent company, to Swisher. I want to shout out to our executive team and, of course, to the backbone of our company, which is our consumers and our workers in Nicaragua, because those two to me are the heart. And uh, that's it. So, so, Jack, what a fun fucking night this has been, man. You know, I just keep thinking about DE25. I just keep thinking about those Eventbrite tickets. Ooh! I just keep thinking of Drew Diplomats being those killer bees tomorrow. And you know what I'm talking about, because you've been with JD for three years, or seven years, or 14, or you've been with me for 25 years. And you've been with us for 25 years. And, and this, this one, I want you guys there. I want you guys to bring your girl, your wife, your girlfriend. I want, we're going to party. We're going to get loose. We're going to go to Texas. We've been talking about this for how long? Because we're an East Coast company. This is, this is New York meets Nicaragua. We ain't over on the West Coast. I asked somebody today because I got no geography, you know, geography fucking skills. I was like, yo, is Texas the West Coast? And I found out it ain't. But nope. somebody said it was in the middle of the motherfucking country. <laughs> so I just know we're coming to Texas, y'all. And we're going to do it big. We're going to have a great time. So September 25th, for those of you who tuned in late, shame on you, first of all. But secondly, you can go to that event, right? Let's get you on board. And I don't want to hear any bullshit from Drew Diplomats of buying onesies and twosies. Buy a motherfucking table. And let's get going and do this right. Now, J.D., I think that we would, for us, it's, it's an Undercrown show. We started with Undercrown. I think that it would make the most sense to finish with Undercrown. I'm holding in my hand a cigar that's very special to me. It's a very special cigar. Uh, Pedro, talk us through the dogmas and, and tell, tell people what's going on with the uh, Mad Dog and the Sun Dog in 2021. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> you are right here to learn, like my man Kevin Hart said. Right here. <laughs> so let me tell you one thing right now. When it comes to the underground sun dog, sun, sun ground dojo dog, bro, one thing that I can tell you, my man Frankie drinks. Man, these drinks are badass. <laughs> yeah, we can tell. <laughs> oh, no, no, everybody can tell. No, you can tell, Jack. <laughs> but one thing that I can tell you about the sound ground, do you, Dagma? I mean, right now, I mean, there is a lot of beautiful things happening right now with Drew Stay in Hoya de Nicaragua. Under Hoya de Nicaragua 200. It's amazing, bro. You know, it, I'm from Esteli, Nicaragua. My man Juan Martinez did an amazing job presenting and introducing the cigars that are coming out from the oldest cigar factory in Nicaragua. Then we got El Brujito, amazing cigar that comes and brings the logo of my city. So. Right now, when it comes to the collaboration, because, you know, when it comes to Cigar Jack, Drew Stay is very well known. To not just make cigars that some people will love and other people will hate. We got cigar for every single person up there. And the most beautiful collaboration that we have done, besides all of them that we have done, and I'm talking about Rocky Patel in Java Cigars. And I'm talking about Cigar Dojo and the cigar that we have collaborated with them. And I'm talking with Shady Records, the collaboration that Drew State have done with the hip hop community up there. And I'm talking about right now, right here, with the 
underground tent. As you guys can see, I'm about to burn my nail right here. But tonight, right here, is about to talk about the collaboration that we have done with on with the Cigar Dojo. Cigar Dojo. There yes. we go. <laughs> <laughs> and then Frank. don't blame it on me. <laughs> don't blame it to the rain because right now <laughs> we're gonna show what's happening right now. <laughs> uh, we got. Uh, <laughs> Billy Let's Bobby get a reload. We got. Yo, he's going <laughs> Billy Vanilli. <laughs> <laughs> we got. We got. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get my toes straight and my mind right. Okay. So we got this collaboration that came out to be <laughs> last year with uh, Cigar Dojo. And we came out with the Undercrown Songgrown Toyo Tagma. As you guys can see right here, so we got the same Bitola, uh, 5 by 54 the same blend, 5 by 54 And eh, all the tobaccos that we have been putting into it, and when it comes to Cigar Toyo, it is uh, one of the most respectful uh, groups that we got up there. A guys that have been putting all the support and faith into Drew Stay. So I'm not going to say nothing else except thank you, you guys, for supporting us. And even though that this is a limited edition, when I say a limited edition, as soon as we run out, we run out. But one thing, the highlight of the Undercrown that we have come out with Cigar Dojo, the, which is the collaboration, you got this, this, buddy. <laughs> is this oh. Ooh, to, oh, shit. the Mag Dog? <laughs> and the Mag Dog right here, the San Bitola, the San Ring Gauge. And it is a cigar that is close to my heart because out of all the Drew Estate, the Undercrown, sorry, not just the Undercrown, the, not just the Drew Estate. Not all these cigars that are available worldwide are really close to my heart. Is the Undercrown Dogma right here. Mad Dog. Which is called AKA My Dog. <laughs> no, not My Dog. <laughs> Mag Dog. Okay? There we go. Yo, Jack, come on, bro. <laughs> you got this. You're French. killing it. That jacket, you it, got it, this. Bro, bro, you know, he's screwing you up. <laughs> I don't want to spray the French word, but I will tell you one thing. When it comes to this cigar right here, when it comes to collaboration, Drew Stay has been very well known. When it comes to collaboration, we don't make collaboration with no purpose. Every collaboration has to have a purpose. And when it comes to the most clean cigars out there, and s people that knows about cigars, is this one right here, the masterpiece, the Undercrown Maduro, the Mac Doc. This one comes in 10 count wood box. One of the things that, I mean, first, one thing that I can tell you is this. First time that we came out with the Undercrown uh, uh, Cigar Dojo, it was a soft pack. Yep. 2018, we come out with the Patek beautiful presentation but because the cigar as Joey said the cigar is the rock star it is the cigar deserve a good box and right here 2021 we are so proud to present you guys the Undercrown uh, Maduro Dogma yes cigar that everybody will love because I truly love this cigar out of all the underground family, is the smoothest cigar that we have in the market, and it is a limited edition. So go up there and look for the, your Drew Diplomat account, because they are going to be the ones that are going to have those cigars. And Pedro, we have actually, Mr. David Torres, the master himself, has an incredible piece of uh, cinematography for you guys. I want to debut... The uh, Mad Dog Sun Dog video. Check oh, this out. Wait a minute. We got a video right now. We got a video right now, buddy.
All right, everybody. This has been an amazing night. I would love to uh, sign off, but first, I think we have one more raffle to get to. Frankie drinks. Pedro is, has hijacked the bar. Let's do that Pedro, last round of raffles. Spin that shit. Let's go. Pedro, don't knock your drink oh, over. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Again, freestyle live at DrewEstate.com. So, Please reach out to us. So this is for... This is for... The Suzuki Supermoto, not the regular moto, no, but the Supermoto dirt bike. You know the uh, what we call the Esteli uh, Harley Davidson, right? Yes, you sir. Know, absolutely. So uh, hold it up, man. Pedro, pick out a number, man. Dig in there no, and hand it to me, bro. All right, is everybody ready? Pick it and then hand this it to Frank. It. Hand this it to Frank. This is it. So is everybody ready. Because before I say everybody ready, let's get your glass. <laughs> because we're going to toast for everybody that has been tuning with us. Uh, no, on, no, 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 we don't, no, we don't have a toast yet, bro. Hang on, bro. Because right, we got two more. Hang, hang on. on. Two more. All right, so we're going to grab the ticket. And I'm going deep. Do it, do yeah, it. Hand it to Frank. L let me get it. Let me deep get it, Deep in the ocean, and it goes to Frank Drinks. All right. So the winner. One... Five, three, two. <laughs> one, five, three, two. That's one, <laughs> five, three, two. You are the winner of the Suzuki Supermoto dirt bike, man. Congratulations. Thank you for uh, for playing. One, five, three, two. We got you, man. So uh, reach out to us. Freestyle. What is it, Jack? Freestyle live at DrewEstate.com. Freestyle live. So, J.D., Spin that shit, bro. Am I even supposed to be here? No. Yeah. <laughs> Spin it. <laughs> they told me to move over here. I jumped over. Yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. come let's, they don't let's... let me play Millie Vanilli? I was playing it. All right, so here we go. Hang on, this... I'm going to put some of that Willie back to the side. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. that yeah, was yeah. you. You got to mix it. You so mix it. So for our trade partners, this is a $5,000 credit to upscale your bar, right? Your lounge. We got three dreams set. There you go. <laughs> Dig in there and hand me one. Three dreams, dream set recliners. And we got one Undercrown Mega Standing. And we got Cavalier Cigar Company in Texas. Oh, Texas. Uh, so congratulations, Cavalier Cigar. You are the big winner, man. We're going to upgrade your spot. You know, you may even get me to visit you. <laughs> I mean, oh, appropriate. That, it's in Texas, right? In Texas, baby. There we go. Yo, crazy. All right. Uh, September 25th, Drew Estate 25. So listen, uh, Jack, I'm going to throw it back to you. Last words. Yes. So before we sign off, um, I would like to give Mr. Juan Martinez the opportunity to, uh, to eloquently uh, and properly say his goodbyes from Esteli before we come back to Miami and do it dirty. Juan, please sign off for us. Wow, his hair is really fancy. Yeah, I have I have a complaint to the executive producer of Freestyle Live. Next time, I want to be flown to Miami and have what Pedro is having, man. And I want to dance like Pedro. That's uncomparable, man. So How come much love to everybody. To Millie Thank you very much for having me. Uh, Can we finish hope up you with guys Millie? enjoy your time, enjoy all the new products, and hope to see you on September 15th, 2021 to celebrate the 200 years of independence of Central America, and September 25 to celebrate the 25 years of Drew Estate. So see you there, everybody. Thank you for having me, and have a great night. Juan, I have a, from good authority from Iran Curbelo that you, that, that wish has been granted. So uh, you guys, uh, a, a parting shot. So a, a parting uh, shot right now uh, from Drew Estate to you guys. Thank you for tuning in to Freestyle Live. Uh, to Juan Martinez and to everybody that's out there, a little Mexican hot chocolate to finish off our beautiful night. Jack Hare, a beautiful, beautiful job, man. So, hey, so thank you to everybody. everybody. Yo, 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 yo. For bringing the, the band back together. Yeah, and, good uh, name is Lee Fidelli. Yeah, there D25. we go. D25. Yeah. Get your tickets, shoot it, baby. Good riddance. Yeah. Hell yeah.